Okay guys, we have a, another road trip. We're near Aurora, Illinois, which is just outside of Chicago. We are at the Chicago Toy Company. We are gonna go in there and see what they have for Pops. So we will show you guys inside. So as we walked up to the store, we realized it wasn't just a pop store, but it was also an antique store as well, which was pretty awesome. We got to look at a lot more stuff than uh, just pops, and we were there a lot longer than we thought we were going to be. So the first section of pops we came across were the 10-inch. They had a great variety of 10-inch. As you can see, you got some ad icons, Tony the Tiger, some Motu, LeBron James, a couple Disney and Marvel. Uh, just a really good mix of... Uh, of the 10 inch pops they have more up top as well you'll see them as uh as we pan up here a couple more basketball we got the target dog we got oogie boogie up there as well then most of the four inch pops were organized by category these were a lot of the wwe's then you could see the pop around the world and ad icons going through here mixed in with some of the retro toys and as we pan over you'll see some more motu pops as well then over on this wall, we have more Motu, a uh, couple older Motu Pops in there, along with a ton of different Stranger Things Pops. Pretty pretty good mix once again. You could see some of the older Motu stuff in there also. Then what was mine and Luca's favorite section by far was this glass case. They had some Freddies in there. You could see the Freddy Flux, the Freddy Tiki, uh, a couple cool DC pops also, and then we got to the Star Wars, ton of different Star Wars grails. We did pick up two pops out of this case. I'm going to let you guys try to think which two we may have picked up in here. Um, we'll show those at the end of the video. But then we had more Star Wars over here as well, some black boxes, some newer stuff mixed in with a few of the blue boxes too. Then here's a nice case of ad icons. Love those Jollibees right in the middle there. So this was the front part of the store where they just had uh, a bunch of pops all mixed together. I really didn't get to take a look through this section, but uh, watching it back, I seen there was a ton of uh, ad icons in there, some retro toys, a couple of different uh, newer pops that look pretty cool. Then we got down the uh, back hallway here. This is mostly DC and Marvel from what I remember. So they had a ton of Marvel, ton of DC. You could see all the pops in there. And we did get a few more close-up pictures, but this is just kind of overview of this whole aisle here. See some of the zombie line and different uh, Marvel pops. Then uh, there's a glass case here on the left. We'll show that a little bit closer in detail on that shortly here. There are some uh, grails in there. One of the most expensive pops, I think, in the store might have been in that case. And then we had uh, some Disney here, I think, on the uh, on the back wall as well. Okay, now we have that glass case that we just showed you guys. Uh, there was a Jack Skellington up on top. And then uh, this row was Destiny Pops, which I have not heard of before, but there were some decent ones in there. Then you got some Marvel. You got the Black Light Venom, the uh, Captain America. The World War II outfit, so a couple cool pops there. And then here's a pop that I have not seen in person before. This was actually the Master Chief, the Blockbuster ex exclusive. Uh, pretty amazing pop, $700 price tag. Definitely not going to pick that one up today, but very cool pop to, to look at and see in person. Okay, now we got the uh, back wall at the end of the uh, Marvel and DC hallway there. This is that back wall of uh, Disney that I talked about. This has the, uh, you would see all the different Mickeys. We got the Artist Series Mickeys in here. Uh, and a couple of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and OG Donatello. Uh, love those, that Willy, uh, Chili Willy and the Chili Willy from the Funko Shop there at the bottom. We had some Lilo and Stitch, Haunted Match, and just a good mix of uh, Disney Pops. One thing I wanted to mention too, on the price tags, they had listed box condition basically, the, what the rating of each box was. And some of the boxes that had any kind of damage on it, they did price accordingly. So I really did appreciate uh, the pricing was super fair on pretty much everything in the store. Just a great, great store to stop out at. So happy we did that. So we had a little extra time to kill, so we stopped at the mall across the street from the Chicago Toy Company, and this was the Fox Valley Mall. 
this was FYE was the first store that we stopped into. They have pretty much the usual stuff. Here was some uh, fig pins. We had we were looking at some Naruto fig pins. They had a couple uh, of the Marvel fig pins as well. That OG Hulk was pretty cool. Then as far as pops went, the you can see the seven ninety nine pops are pretty much in every FYE. Uh, some of their exclusives. I, We've got some Seinfeld there at the bottom. A lot of the uh, mech pops as well. And then uh, they also had some uh, some Motu, a little bit of Motu here. There was a little bit of Motu on the back wall. You could see some of the chicken nuggets left over. And uh, just kind of what you'll find at uh, most FYEs as you stop in. There was a Wayne Gretzky there. That was kind of cool to see uh, a Wayne Gretzky still on the still on the shelves and like about, we got a 10 inch he-man still need to pick up the 10 inch he-man but not today that is not one you'll see at the end of the video today and then as we kind of swung around the corner here i think they have one more section of yes the marvel zombies and you can see the uh glow in the dark captain america mech also And a little more Motu to wrap it up. So now we stopped in at Hot Topic. Uh, as far as Pops went, this Hot Topic had not many whatsoever. They weren't even really worth filming at all in here. But there was a lot of Loungefly uh, bags. So we figured we'd get uh, pictures of that. We've become big fans in this household with uh, the Loungefly bags. So... It's kind of cool to see as many as they have because our Hot Topics around here, from what I remember, do not have this many bags. So it was cool for, for them to see those. And then as we made our way out of the mall, we stopped over at this GameStop. GameStop had a, uh, they actually had a decent selection on their uh, on their pops. They had a good, uh, good mix over here. Um, they had a few of the exclusives from uh, NYCC, I believe. I think Moe's uh, was out there. And then they had some of the uh, Gingerbread Marvel Pops, which we almost picked up a couple. Uh, you could see a couple of the Gummy Bears there in the front. Samurai Jack. That Mimic, I almost picked up one of those Mimics. That was, pre that was the first time I seen that one in person. And it looked even better than uh, what I seen from Glam Shot. So that was actually a very cool pop to to kind of take a look at. A couple GI Joes there as well. And then you can see a snake face also from NYCC. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed our hunt of uh, the Chicago Toy Company and uh, the mall that we stopped at. Uh, we did pick up a couple items. Yes, we did. We picked up one 10 inch mm -hmm. so they can guess maybe which one 10 inch that we picked up. Mm -hmm. And then we picked up two out of the case. So let's yes. show the 10 inch off uh, first, Luke's. This was, you can leave that on. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. We got the price tag still on there. And actually, it was only 20 bucks. <laughs> really good price. Really good price. And we didn't have Ezra yet. We didn't have yeah. the 10 inch Ezra. So, it's definitely, we definitely collect the uh, Haunted Mansion. Mm -hmm. And we didn't have this 10 yeah, inch. That was really cool to pick up. Yeah, they were clearing it out. So, Man, it worked out perfect for us. They had a lot of really good sales over there, too. And they had some really cool pops. Yeah, they, you know what? They did. They, I really enjoyed going Me to that too. store. Then we found a couple Star Wars pops. Yes, we did. This first one that we'll show off, we've been looking for. Yes, that yes. that is the one. We've been looking for this Cad one for a long time. Bane. We Should found a Cad up? Bane. And the box was mint. fantastic. It was mint, and I think, what was it? Was it under PPG a bit, or was it just a bit over? I think it was just under. I thought it was, I think it was $60, you know, We showed guys. it in the video. I'm pretty sure PPG was 65 Maybe it was at 65. the time. It was right around there. It was there. a great deal. Or it was at it's PPG. a great looking pop. Yeah, and it was a great, you know, great price and mm -hmm. an awesome pop. Now this next one, we actually had this but we had this as the small, small font. Pad. We've been trying to get go back now and add some of the, the large font or yes. the older releases of these pops. So they probably already know. This was oh. a blue box. Chewy. Chewy. Chewbacca. 
awesome pop. And this I, was and 2012. This was another fantastic deal. I think it was like 80 bucks. Yeah, you know what? And PPG is like 105. That, that was one thing that I thought was kind of cool, though. They actually, you know, the way that they, they like, graded all their pops. Yeah, and they had, it was really cool. They, had they adjusted the sticker accordingly. on there and everything, showing what their rating was yeah. of each pop. I think. Cap this had Cap Man was, was like a near mint, is what I think, I think they was called like it. An eight. And I mean, Luke's me and you looked at this. This had just this little ding, I think, I up in the corner. I can, you can maybe say it was an eight point five, a nine. Yeah, but something they like. They had it as like an eight. Yeah, in a twenty twelve. I mean, you know, that's you're gonna an get awesome a little bit of damage. Nice. So, you know what? I mean, awesome store. I'm glad we yes. stopped out there. We we're me out there too. for uh, your soccer, um, and I'm glad we actually stopped on the way out. And, and if we're back out that way again, oh, we have to go. We are gonna find a way to go yes. through and take the way that we took it actually worked out perfect perfect for us but mm -hmm. great store definitely if you guys are in the uh, chicago land area you definitely want to stop out there because we had a blast over mm -hmm. there yeah guys so check out our patreon linked in the description down below and make sure you guys like subscribe and turn on those post notifications and we'll see you guys next time bye bye